And well, here we go. Dust two awaits us. Enemy Mouse Sports with that T side star. And early on, leaning over towards B, they're trying to open up with a duel onto Dupree, and they do trade out onto him. And actually, Rops is going to follow up with a double. I knew I was right to pick Rops, man. He's so good. And there's a third. He just keeps on going in and keeps getting kills, keeps getting rewarded for it. Now, while Rops has set the round up and he put the puzzle pieces where they're meant to be, Frozen could be the real key to this round. Ready to lurk his way in through the back line and cut down these rotations. They do check for him. Tag gets the information. So they know there's a man behind them, but that now leaves them in a very awkward spot. Like you're in the trap, you're aware of it. It's closing up on you and Chris J is there to pull the trigger. Frozen finishes it off and Mouse Sports, they're gonna grab themselves a little pistol round. Yeah, their map pick in this series, right? Astralis, they played it three times, two wins out of three. This map pool for Astralis is still, I, I don't wanna say undecided because I imagine it's just pretty much the same. Six out of seven maps, vetoing Mirage every single time and trying everything else. But yeah, we don't know where they're, where they're good at. They haven't shown us overpass. They've been banning that out second every single time, waiting for someone to make the mistake of picking it into them. Uh-oh. What's up, oh, Trace? I don't know. I'm just looking at all these blue little dots with these numbers in them and... <laughs> just what? Just the, the quantity just of them was quantity like... quantity yeah. and, and the quality of the quantity is just too much. And they've spent some of their quantities on quality guns. It's Deagles, it's Armor, it's Scout on Device, but versus the rifles of Mouse Sports. It'll be an easy fight. That bomb's gonna wait and tow towards Long. If he gets some sort of inkling like, hey, I, I could just push Long with this bomb. All that is frozen. He's gonna have a rude awakening, S-Tag. It's there with his deagle. Meanwhile, three deep. Astralis are getting ready for an A hit, but it's this mid to B smoke that's about to come out. Two of them to be exact. They're ready for this pinch too. Pressure's gonna get applied from CT. Dupree is gonna have an SMG. Looks for one. Gets it, looks for a second. Lands the dink, but not enough damage to take him out. Yeah, the downside for Astralis is that B is just open. There's no one even there. So now it's just walk right in. They're like, this is easy. I don't even know why anyone says this game is hard. Astralis, what even is it? Oh, wait, hang on. Three on three now. Carrigan dealt with down here in middle. I don't know what it is. Okay, so I know I picked Astralis to win this. That was earlier in the day. Now? I'm oh, not of course. I'm not surprised. Pander Alarm. Hang on a minute, pander right? Alarm. Let's not set off the Pander Alarm just yet, right? They're not extinct. We have them here in Cologne live. Look, what all I'll say have? is, and and, well, look, when I got asked this question at like 3 p.m., we just arrived, we were all getting ready for the show. And they said, who do you think is going to win? And everyone said Astralis. And I was like, well, peer pressure, I guess. I'll just pick <laughs> Astralis as well. But that's almost, you know, one for one what happened. Right you know, yeah. And then, and then, you know, when I was trying to big up Mouse and everyone was saying, Harry, man, come on. Mouse sports. Astralis. I think that was just Rush Lee. Yeah, that was Rush, actually. He was the real voice of like, going against Mouse, but oh, come on, man. Well, Carrigan, Carrigan often calls a very, very compelling game against the Astralis squad. Like, even if you think back to when they met on LAN, obviously different looking squads on either side, like, you know, no Woxic now. And there were these guys called like Zipex and stuff back in the squad for Astralis. Um, but even there on LAN, you know, Mouse Sports were able to beat them. They went on to win that entire event. And then when we've seen them meet online since then, Mouse Sports have looked really good. And obviously, once again, that was with kind of fluctuating Astralises. But I don't know. I think Mouse Sports could surprise us here. Awesome. However, Carrigan gets surprised early on by the Deagle, and S-Tag's going to chime in with another. If I keep talking, Hugo can't latch on to my statement <laughs> like some little statement mosquito. Who <laughs> <laughs> did the sound? Was that you, Hugo? Your lips weren't even moving, man. That was terrifying. I thought it was Trace. There's a joke about blood sucking in there, but uh, I ain't no vampire, Harry. So you're just regular sucking. Ah, someone had to say it, didn't they? Well, as Harry holds down the cough button, unable to contain himself, Glaive holds down the middle area. Dupree as well with a one deeg, but not in the face, only in the chest, and Rops is running. 
A minute on the clock to save. Good luck, yeah. buddy. And this is why I picked Astralis, right? Like, these guys... <laughs> <laughs> this man. What a dirt bag you are, Harry Russell. Thank wow. You. Thank you, Trace. <laughs> Harry Russeldorf III, how dare you? Oh, look at this. Look at Rob's. The mosquitoes buzzing around him. They smell the blood in the water. That's more sharks than mosquitoes. But obviously, but it's something... They share a lot. They have a lot in common. Both massive threats to the humankind. Except for I think sharks are just a little bit more friendly than... Yeah, they're just kind of chilly. Like, we kind of enter their world, and that's where the problems begin. I guarantee I could beat a shark in a in a boxing yeah. ring. Oh, in a foot race? I'm not surprised. Foot race, maybe, yeah. I'd, I'd be willing to put that to the test. Robs, he's getting tested in T-Spawn, and he might get out alive, but S-Tag... Right. Finding him in the last second. I'll challenge you on that one, Hugo. Yeah. Would you rather fight a shark in water or 10,000 mosquitoes on dry land? <laughs> At one time? Or? Are you yeah. a flamethrower? No, just you versus 10K mosquitoes or one shark in water. Oh, that's an interesting one. Ooh, yeah. That is, a yeah. yeah, that is Can a run. That is like two run? minutes. That's like, like kind of sticking you and then carry you off. Yeah. <laughs> wherever mosquitoes go, hang out at night. You just fly away. Mosquito club. Away with the mosquitoes. That's actually what the song Come Fly With Me was about, I think. Um, Fly away with me. Yeah, that's the tune that we all know and love. I'm just thinking back of colognes of past. You know, the EPL track list really is vast. We actually listened to it on our way into work. You turned that on. <laughs> Can't get enough. Pretty jamming, man. It gets me ready for the day. But look at this, right? So let's get ready for this round because there's been a lot of uh, nonsense thus far. Yeah. Quite oh, frankly, I'm sick and tired of everyone here. So, <laughs> <laughs> Dupree in the B site, and he's in this little corner where the Humvee used to be. And ever since it came into Trace's ownership, they've just replaced it with the doors, standing firm immediately. Frozen Falls. Now, for Mouse, it looked like they were leaning towards B early on. I am curious if that's something they're going to keep to. With losing Frozen over at long, the opportunity to split A is now kind of out the window, and you have no information what's going on at long side. So it might just come down to one of these mid crawls to begin the round, and that's what's going to happen. B Mass opens up. Glaive gets the trade and keeps Astralis in the driver's seat. But look at Carrigan. Trying to carry again from Shaw. He's only got a scout though. Chris got through the Molotov, so he's very deep. Deals a glaive inside of the smoke. And now in the sight, it's Dupree dead as well. B is open. And Mousebores don't know it just yet. They're about to realize bomb getting planted. Carrigan, he's dropped off Cat to have this mid cross, try and cover the rotations, but Device expects it and tries to hunt him down with a big scout. The old orb. Tunnel wrap coming through, Carrigan. Oh my, they're just hopping through. S tag is movement again. It's so entertaining, and Device steals the kill away. Now Chris J at the back of the boxes. Device is holding for it. He saw a gun swap there. He knows what to expect, but Rops is up closer, and Chris has spammed the smoke. Device wants to save that smoke down. It spells disaster for Astralis. Yeah, and I, you know, I'm just, I don't want to keep bringing up old wounds here, but. Ooh. Well, Device is going to have to figure that one out. That didn't feel too good. But I'm just thinking, like, so let's say he did pick the shark, right? Okay, oh, right. Well, if he did pick the shark, like, what watch, exactly watch are you gonna like bite the shark back? Are you gonna like no, punch I, it? I, I've like, read, how do you I've read, on defeating. Uh, you know, okay. So basically, the bottom line is, if you're versus a shark, you're probably screwed, right? Assuming it's trying to okay. kill you. Okay, oh, so that's these the are nice line. odds to begin yeah. the day. But here, here are the three things I know to do. Shark survival tips with Hugo. Wait, this is the segment we've all been waiting for. Go. Finger in the gills, finger oh. in the eyes, and punch in the nose. Those are the three things that I know work. It's pretty rough and tumble, man. You're going yeah. for the fingers in first approach. I, I don't, I don't know about the order. I don't know about the the technique. I just know if I'm ever in that situation, that's what I'm defaulting to. Rops, however, he's defaulting to B. He's already run through and run through Dupree. It's two for. Rops. Rops and mouse boards looking like a fourth round. Astralis already saving back to the Sharks, Trace. Any thoughts on that? Yeah, it just sounds, I don't know, a little unrealistic. I don't know if no, no, but that's 10,000 mosquitoes are realistic either, but... The bottom line is you're probably dead, right? Like, it, oh, you know, I mean, regardless. that's an assumption. He goes like a Bond villain. He's like Gilfinger instead of Goldfinger, you know? That's yeah, like his yeah, whole... Gilfinger. Uh, <laughs> yeah, man. It's I don't like, know, Trace. What would you do? Um, I'd go inside. That would pretty much solve both of those problems in one notion. But anyway, Tank I want to are lifting smarter. that house up, man. Yeah, They're maybe. taking you away with the fairies. Right by the foundation. Bomb plant here for Mouseworks with five live. That's not what Astralis had planned, guaranteed.
Yeah, not a point of damage done to mouse sports. They just wait and be, and that's the danger of, of heavy A setups early, right? Obviously, most rounds are going to be running different things out of spawn, depending where your orb, orb is, etc. But only having one player inside of B, he dies immediately, and the round is off and done like that. Robs does a great job of following up, though, killing both players close B with a nice little contact play, giving mouse sports a fourth. Yeah. And you all heard it there. Hugo basically said he'd finger a shark to death. <laughs> Not to death. I ain't killing this thing. Into what? Exactly. <laughs> <laughs> so I can escape, Trace. I'm done with this. Get it get me out. You got any shark survival tips? Tweet us at tweet them at us. Hashtag yeah. ESL Pro League. Or go it's swimming like a, in the phone. Oh, dude, cat. look at the guy with his cat. No, dude, there was a guy with a cat holding it like a baby. Well, that's cool, but that's there's a guy cute. playing VR. I'm not real sure what he was doing. He was watching the game in VR, I guess. Dude, that would be cool. Or I mean, would it? It would just be like watching it on a screen, but, but in VR. Gotta, like, stand up and stuff. Yeah, that's really so, fun. Yeah. I mean, we had a guy watching the games on the treadmill, so, you know. Was he watching he... the games? Because he had a Star Wars mask on, and we know that they're not optimal for the viewing experience. That's why they miss their shots so much, you know? Those things are like black tinted glass, so you can't even see out of it. Let's see though, right? So we <laughs> That's the scuba tank. Oh nice. No. Back on the sharks now. No, I just was still Carrigan with the long pick, but he had the spawn. Didn't land the shot, however, was definitely given a chance. Device is donning one of the two weapons in this round, and he snuck up through the catwalk. He's trying to be quiet on his approach. Now with the shot ringing out, they know this AWP is in play and that it is still a danger to the side of Mao's. Going to flash themselves over into middle. But no peek on the back of it. Device has dropped down with this big green gun. And they've already gone up and passed him. Carrigan now holding. It's that age-old question. Who wins in the head-to-head? -head, Carrigan or Device on this AWP? Flash to try and set S-Tag up. And Chris has turned away from it. But S-Tag was not able to capitalize. And so now short taken. Four mouths. Is this still going to fall into an A play? Oh, he's very aggressive. He's got Carrigan locked down, but Chris is going to quickly respond. Device drops one in middle, and that somewhat eases the problem, but there's still rocks lurking lower, and he cuts off Dupree trying to get back up the catwalk. That's where Mouseports are, running and gunning towards the A site. S-Tag, he's still standing here, still hiding, ducked down, and Chris sends him six feet below. It's a three on two. Bomb planted for Mouse Sports, and they have players on the catwalk. Astralis again saving. It's familiar. It's been happening far too often, but it's the right call. What else can you do? Mouse Sports are planted, and you want to get a, get away with this AWP again. Mouse Sports have been good, good at denying the saves in some of these rounds. Not always. Someone did tweet a question at us using the hashtag ESL Pro League, okay. and they said, do you guys, and then they put in brackets, Harry, the guy with the deep monster voice and the madman. Which one? All right. Stand up the whole time. Yeah, of course. I'm standing up right now. We do stand up a lot, but right now I'm sitting. But normally I'm standing. It's better for the old uh, vocal cords. Also, who did he mean? So I got named, so I'm out of this. Who's the guy with the deep monster voice and who's the madman out of you two? I figured kind of both. <laughs> Like, it really doesn't narrow it down. Or all of these just to describe me. No, I don't have a deep voice. Uh, and you're definitely just a mad lad, not a mad man. Oh, okay. I think you're the mad mad, Trace. And I think Hugo's the deep voice. I don't know what you're talking about. <laughs> oh, well, we got the long play coming in, don't we? Mouse Sports, they're fast into the firing line, but there's a reason they call it the firing line. And it's a line that gets fired down, and it's Device to open the round up. Five on four, Device. Oh, that was close. There's no prizes for close. You got to hit the mark, and Device knows that better than most. Here comes the, the, the re-peak. Four device holding, and Carrigan doesn't know it yet, but he walks to his demise. Device, that's a quick flick, my word. He's not messing around today. Dupree down in CT in the meantime puts up another. And Astralis, they finally arrive with that second round they've been looking for for a long old while. Yeah, we are getting a lot more answers with this All Pro, right? Like Carrigan donning it uh, in this map, right? Maybe on you, a little less comfortable or more position based, doesn't want to wield that weapon, but it's not an easy head-to-head -head taking on device with the AWP. Learning the hard way. 
Ooh, cross mid with the flash. They spot the orb holding, but Carrigan won't get a shot in. That's supposed to deny the long control of Molly. Smokes, HEs. They hold on to B, hoping that an aggressive player gives him that room. Notice Astralis are actually playing two inside of the B site this time, not fighting for that mid control anymore. You want a mid to B? Come and get us. Again, again, this is all info mouse bots don't have. They've dealt with double CT setups already. Device pushing up. Surely no further than the second door with this orb. Considering Frozen's holding for it as well. Device, if he goes through this, you'd like to think Frozen would hit the shot, but then again, it is Device. He's not going to hit the flick. Frozen taking that kill and putting mouse bots a man up. Now they can set up for this A split. Yeah, Glaive has heard this, but... Might be hearing any more now that Rops has removed him from the round. They dump the utility in and Maus don't commit right away. They actually drop Chris into CT. And now they will commit. They realize like Chris is in A, mate. He's in the site and he's locked it down. Now down in the pit, there is still S tag. That's cool because the bomb's planted on A. So doesn't look like he's going to be doing much about that. Yeah, but if they come this way to hold on to these weapons, S-Tag, well, now they know he's here. And um, Carrigan, this is something you hope he can deal with with this AWP inside of the site. Now, it, to his fairness, he doesn't need to take this engagement. You know, like he missed the first shot. And at this point, you, you can just run away. Like it's more important that you live with the AWP than get the kill onto S-Tag. So Carrigan will do exactly that. He plays it nice and safe, plays it by the numbers. But six on the board for Maus, and this is where it's all getting a little bit exciting, isn't it? Rops topping the charts, but he's got a pretty strong supporting cast around him. Dupree Ooh. almost hunting some players down. Yeah, nice angle for Frozen as well to hold, to catch the vice off. Very hard to clear while scoped in with the AWP, and Maus supposed they just play off the back of it, right? When they lose their long player there, they often just drop into the mid to Bs or contact. And right there, they get the long pick, so that sets them up perfectly for an A-side split. Great T-side so far, six to two. More Xbox smokes coming down. Fast, long flashes, but no one playing behind it. Frozen again, just going to be defaulting as mouse boards. Group B, relying on this orb to get a kill. Carrigan, 0 and 6. Could this be his opener? Pre-lining a nade up. Not in a position where he can get caught, though. Fast in four mouse sports, waiting for no one. Smoke on the site. Magic's pulling out his gun at uh, just the right time. Gets BMAS. And that Molotov caused commotion for mouse sports. Everyone flashed out. They're going to have to bail and go back to middle. Frozen from long. He gets dropped down the bottom. And Device is going to stop them jumping up the catwalk. Great shot. Carrigan now in the one on one. Device hanging on. And he's got another as well. Just Rops left up. One on five. The B play not working. Yeah, if you're mouse sports, this is an indicator right here. Astralis. Mouse sports might have just woken a <laughs> sleeping giant device. Big round in middle with an AWP. Three kills to his name and nine on the board. I will say, leading the pack. this is like a little bit of a worrying beginning for Carrigan. You know, the rest of the gang, they're all kind of slowly but surely coming alive. And if you're going to go toe-to-toe -to -toe versus Device on a map like Dust, you need to be bringing your A-game on that AWP. And right now, Carrigan is 0-7 to begin this one. He has had that AWP out a little bit, but this round they don't have the cash to facilitate it, and so that's going to give Device even more room. Oh, dear Dupree. He's taken tons, but he's just looked away. Rops is late to the party, and so he could have this flank time. Dupree, oh dear, he got shot in the back. He's lifted till the tail. He's not going to get out for long, though. Rops receiving some damage, but still comes out on top. And Mousepulse was just about to cross Cat. They would have been seen by Dupree holding on. Now, not only the lack of info, but a player dead on that B bomb site. He's tempted Mousepulse for a mid to B. They're going to go out with a smoke. Great entry from B Mass. He's down to five, but he does stay alive. And that leaves one man and one man only in the B site. Magic's dropping Rops. He was already low. And now Magic needs to do all the heavy lifting through the door. He can't pick a target. And B Mass follows up. Two opening kills for Mousepulse into the site. And that's going to be a seventh locked and loaded. Another save for Astralis. All they can muster. Through thick and thin, mouse boards coming out on top.
Yeah, this from Rox was everything, right? He's just the savior of Mouse Sports to begin that round. If they kept walking down Cat and Dupree gets that open line, that could have been a disaster. Also, Dupree's rocking the purple look today. We we stand that. That's, uh, that's the real appreciation move. Was that purple? I'm sad. Uh, yeah. No, purple I, that pink, was purple. Mate. On my screen. You were really about to get, uh, you know, like purple and pink. pink. They're kind of similar. They're kind of hard to distinguish. Now, you never know. We also, might see color differently. Purple could be like a heavy lilac, I think, you know. not Really? A... You're going to start breaking out the terms <laughs> lilac, are you? I think what we do at this point is we just say, is this dress blue or is this dress gold? Oh, dear. Ah, yes. That's the one that we can get a definitive answer for. Hugo, <laughs> would you say it's more of like a tangerine or perhaps lilac? Oh, well, look at this. No lilaxing, no relaxing today as Glaive puts up one on the cross. It's Carrigan getting the short end of the stick. And now the bomb going down. Chris J putting in those numbers. Gosh, the utility just absolutely destroying him inside of the site. But he's somehow still alive. He's been naded, he's been mollied, he's been flashed. But he still keeps on fighting and frozen, clearing out long. That's a little bit ugly. And now they know he's here. Suddenly it's gone from like, don't worry guys, I've got long to like, oh my God, I'm gonna die at long. And he does, Rops now trying to hold it down from short and he's left in it all alone. Damage for Rops. Surely this isn't winnable, surely not. There's so little time left. They've got to get on it quick. Rops is playing for time, but he's only got six bullets. He's done damage, oh. but sadly, wow. the stick comes in for Astralis. That is a damn good try from Rops, but the Danes just swarm up in the site and they lock in a fourth. But to say they did that barely, I think is a justifiable statement. Rops almost single-handedly winning that round for Mouse Sports. Yeah, it is so much damage. You just can't hit a headshot. He's tapping everyone. And even though Estag gets on the bomb, the keys of Stratus go wider than him. And so, yeah, with four HP, Rops couldn't have even peeked out to stop that defuse. He would have been shut down. The save is the right call, but man, that's got to hurt. Oh, <laughs> The nade, it's not going to finish the job, but a flick to Chris to put him on 16. Oh, Glaive, you absolute madman. He goes right through the smoke with a nade, knowing Frozen was going to back up to avoid the damage, and he follows up with a kill, and then just scarpers away. Look, he's already in CT. Glaive's out of there. Chris takes the AWP. Carrigan, 0 and 8. We know he can do the entering. He's done a lot of that in the past with Miles, but BMAS here to help him out. Maybe Miles Sports committing to the catwalk here. Rops is checking lower, making sure no one's aggressed in the tons, and they have not. He's going to go for the long wrap. This will take some time. Miles Sports will have to stall. Oh, here comes the util device. Can he keep putting on a show? The answer, looking oh. like a yes. The bomb falls into CT and device is their undoing. 35 seconds for Mouse. And somehow they've got to come up with a plan. They've got to hatch a plan to drop into CT and take that bomb back. Rops opens up with one, but they're fighting a losing battle. This bomb still under the control of Astralis and they realize that now they don't overextend. They fall back into CT. And so that means Mouse Sports, they've got no choice but to go into the belly of the beast. It's a two on two. They drop that smoke and that's let them get the oh, bomb. Man. Dupree has tried to deny it. He's up through the smoke oh, and Rops flicks onto him. Somehow Mouse Sports, they've gotten back into this. They had absolutely no business winning this round and now they sit in a 2v1. Glaive up on the catwalk. They are both very, very low. So there is a chance, but it's only a chance for Glaive. Dropping into CT, and there's the peak from Rops at long. Wow. How on earth did Mouse Sports just pick that back up? Your guess is as good as mine. Was that a two on five for Rops and BMAS? This entry on Rops, and then BMAS does some great work. Device lights up two with the orb from the long cross. BMAS ducks below the shot and then re peeks and takes him down. That's even before they try and get the bomb. Dupree even hit BMAS escaping through the smoke. One more bullet would have been everything. It would have, it would have killed BMAS. It would have dropped the bomb on the ramp with no time to save. But instead, BMAS scarps out of there and gets the plant. That's just crazy. What a round for Robson and Beamass. Even Astralis. Yeah, o. that's a real tweet. That's a real tweet. Man.
Can't deny course. the truth. Seventy hey, to I'm, five on Rops. If I'm Mouse Sports, I'm getting worried that they pick up Rops as their eighth man for the International Australis squad that we all know is coming. No, I don't think that ever happens. Rops will have to learn Danish, wouldn't he? There's enough Danish players. Right yeah, now. but there's no Danish Ropses, right? That's you true. can't. That's true. You can't disagree with me there. You're a Danish Rops. Let us know. Show yourself. <laughs> Will the real Danish Rops please stand up? As now Frozen and BMAS start to aggress over here towards Long. But they slow it right down. So slow, in fact, that they're not even moving. And that Molly is just like, yeah, you guys want to go slow? We well, can slow it down even more for you. Go on with it, Attenborough. Slow is smooth, smooth is fast. A wise man once told me. Not, not wise man's, but just more so one singular man. Anyway. Point being, they've dropped a smoke here inside of the V tunnels. They've given themselves an option, or at least some attention here for Astralis to pay. Meanwhile, mid just getting checked periodically from the side of B. It's heavy long play. So technically, Mouse Sports could run up cat. They could split A at this point with two players there and long. But surely it's going to be brutal no matter what. Yeah, this B read is interesting for Astralis. Miles, they're faking it out. That's only going to keep the players here with these two at long. Molly on cat. Chris is going to sell the fake by committing in alone. He does. Astralis haven't seen him yet. They're already peering towards mid. Like, where are they? There's 20 seconds. They're not out yet. They're long. S-Tags drop one. Frozen needs this trade. They need A. Device is still on the car. Above the smoke, a missed shot on Characteristic. He's going to follow up, but now turning back to long, trying to get this control back from Frozen, who mollies it off. A device goes through the fire and the flames. Bomb plant for Carrigan only just, and that's if they allow it. They could swing oh. to stop four seconds as the plant comes through, and Carrigan can't even scope in time. Magis with a quick dig and a second orb retrieved. It's Astralis up to five. So, Hugo, just run me through a scenario right here, right? If you're just tuning in, you're like, well, well, you know, eight, five, and the Astralis lads. Uh, um, how is it looking in the long term picture here for this map for Astralis, who find themselves in a deficit? Are we thinking that, okay, they flip over the T side and they become instantly dominant, or is there going to be a response here from Mouse Sports? I mean, this is just a, 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 like what right, we're seeing right now is Rob's having a great individual effort to, to get a lot of these rounds for Mouse Sports. I don't, I'm never going to count Astralis out. I'm never going to sit here and say, like, yeah, dude, they're done. 8 5, it's already over. Rob's has the same amount of kills as his whole team combined. That's yeah, pretty cool. And that's a worry, though, moving into yeah. the second half. Yeah, but that's only three other people. Yeah, that's true. Carrigan has had a very rough start to begin this game. Yeah. No, I, this is fine for Astralis. It's, uh, it's, it's, you know, they're building into it, Trace. Vice, he's been firing off since day one, and he won't stop. Another one in mid. The double orb of him and Dupree are putting up two kills. And, like, we're in a world where an 8 7 half looks very likely right now. That's uh, by the numbers on Dust 2. That's to be expected. A six that uh, guarantee at least Astralis versus Pistols should have no issue removing them. But that's, I mean, that's what you always say when you're playing your pug at home and there's one dude on the T side, he's 20 and three and he's wrecking you and you're down at half time. You're like, guys, don't worry. He can't do this on CT side. Sometimes he does. And so we'll have to see what Rob's can bring for us. But yeah. Yeah. It's asking a lot, right? Like not only, you know, you can't, like, that's the thing. At the end of this half, there's no, uh, there's no break for Rops. It's not like you go, man, you had a great half, but don't worry. Let's just pull it together in the second. It's like, Rops, you need to actually be even better than you were just now when you're giving it 110%. But if one guy could get me believing, you know, if one guy can compensate for- it's Chris J. <laughs> well, it is actually, Chris J is another great player, but you know, I think Rops is definitely the talking point for this mouse board squad. To be crunch for Mal Sports yeah. last round of the half. They want to take this 9 6, and this could be the solution to here, though. Dupree's just pulled up with the AWP. Screw. Boost up and beat. Screw. And they see Dupree is the question we're wondering. Because Dupree you might be able to see them. And Dupree. <laughs> That's a good one. Oh, fast flick. Back for another bomb there. Not anymore. And B Mass yeah. might want to get out of there alive. 
Better than dead, that's for sure. Smoke down though, and Dupree will not let, let you enter his sight. Carrigan looking for his first kill in the last round of the half. He might have it against Device, but backing up into the sight, he almost gets away, and he does get away. Oh, Carrigan, what's oh no, things are scary. Like He's calling for support. Device scoped up, trapped Carrigan, bait Pete, forces the oh. orb out, and Device gets another. Can he shut down the round of the half? Yes, he <laughs> can. It's Device. Seven rounds for Astralis, and they are making this one interesting. Join us after the break for more Counter Strike. Yeah. I'm a turn it to the man now. Man now. Hey, I'm gonna get my money, ain't no hand down. Hand hey, I'm gonna be a nigga like I'm playing down. Playing down. Hey, I ain't trying to focus on my friends now. Huh? I'm gonna turn it to the man now. Man hey, now. I'm gonna get my money, ain't no hand down. Hand hey, I'm gonna be a nigga like I'm playing down. Playing down. Hey, I ain't gotta focus on my friends now. I'm a turn it to the man. Everybody, here is your ESL.gg slash fan cams. And sorry to the guy in the top right who did get slightly cut off there. Either way, we're cutting it right in half as halftime comes to a drawing close. S tag tries to pick middle with a P350. And this one's been back and forth, a close affair, but Kerrigan not having the best goes of it. Yeah, not a single kill in the half, right? That is going to be rough. But. You know, it hasn't hampered Mouse Sports all too much. Like, Rops is uh, fragging for two right about now. And well... Nice way of clearing car. Yeah. 
Will that keep up? That's the big question, right? Like, I think this second half, if Carrigan isn't able to bail himself out, Rops needs to keep being this hero. But Carrigan, here it is. First kill anymore. No, that's it. But still, one is better than none. True. Here Max. comes the long play. There's a big gap in those smokes, and Chris J just plucks one away through it. Device goes for the USP. Bomb can go down here, but it's got a cross out of Goose. Luckily enough, BMAS isn't challenging. Mouse Sports, they sit with a man advantage in this retake. Device Ooh. takes it away, mate. Makes it look far too easy. Come on, Device, give us a few more. There's a second and a third, maybe. Maybe Device, come on, get cheeky with it. Get jiggy with it on the corner. Looking for the peak, Whoa. but it's Beamass who will get the better of him. Now him and Frozen left in this two on two. And Magis making his presence known at long. Beamass quite the task ahead of him and he runs out of ammo. Astralis, they're bailing down towards CT, but Beamass, well, he has found the first still looking. Oh, there's the headshot, the but kit. not enough time. Oh. The kit was down right there by his feet. I think he would have had time if he got the kit. Oh, uh, it's really hard to say, isn't Especially it? Especially going back up the ramp like that. There's really just, I don't know. It didn't happen either way, so it doesn't really matter. Now Ooh. we have a split right down the middle. Kerrigan joins us. And we have a tie game. Yeah, I'm going to assume that there wasn't time there, but... Either way, very close. Nice try from BMAS. And Karagan on the board is always a good sign as well. One of the worries with Rops, right? Like, not that he's going to struggle individually, but if Astralis, you know, they know he plays B on this map. So if they want to overtake this A side a lot, if they're hit, taking these long hits out of spawn, Rops is going to be countered by that somewhat. So we'll keep our eyes on whether Astralis go anywhere near him or not. Carrigan on the car with the scout. Chris flash through the smoke. Anti-flash is s tag, but he still gets overwhelmed. Dupree will trade to one for one. It's not the end of the world for Astralis. Instead of smokes, hopefully correct this time. Both of them went deep. Carrigan on the site. Oh, lovely shot. Taking down Magis, going back for more. Dinked for seven damage, as you do. He will get out alive, but hunted down towards Gandalf. Glaive won't let him survive. It's going to be a bomb plant here for Astralis at the bare minimum. And the kill on BMAS, right? They want to retake. They want to give it a go. He's still hanging around with the CT smoke coming down towards Elevator. Frozen up on Catwalk. Nice little nade. Does some damage, but nothing extraordinary. And once that smoke fades, BMAS is on the chopping block. Rops has been holding this for a long while, but doesn't land that opening shot. Will do this second time around, but it's still a kill for Device. Bimas mm. actually cut down as well by the 6 HP man at long. And so Astralis, they take that lead. They go 9-8 up. And now as a result of the force, there's no money left for Mouse Sports. They've just got to take an eco here. So at that point, you're almost conceding that 10th round over willingly. Everyone try and notice everything that's going on. Anything yeah. interesting? We got some flags on heads. There was some other stuff. I'm really, really bad at looking at all the, uh, the videos. Are they videos? There are quite a lot of videos, Harry. Yeah, yeah man. Blame me there. But I'm a bit of a boomer when it comes to that kind of stuff. Here's Dupree booming his way out through long. And Device running in with a Glock. <laughs> Literally just <laughs> making a mockery of ours at this Glock. one. He doesn't have anything else. Just yeah. the Glock and some nades. That's the flusher right there. That's what we call it. And when I say we, I mean Hugo and I. Oh, okay. I mean, I thought just you, but... It's fair enough. And here we go with Astralis. Off to that great rip-roaring start. Mouse sports, well, can't really forecast device going 23 and 6. Yeah, this is a very odd, uh, like, scoreboard on either side, right? Yeah. Frozen, Carrigan, and Chris. And I'm kind of lumping Chris in with two people who are a lot lower down the board than he is. But they have 14 kills between them. Then you look at, like, S-Tag, Magis, you know, they're, they're, they have... 14 kills between them as well. Wow, that worked out brilliantly, didn't it? And then, like, then you got, like, the frag leaders in Rops and Device on either side, and both of them are just having standout games. It's now a question of who can keep that up the longest. And Device, he's showing in this second half that he is more than up to the challenge. And that gets scary for Maus. They've got two players here inside of B. Rops is one of them. He's got to go huge, but he's cancelled out immediately by Glaive. Frozen has to buy time. 
Oh, they just run through the door. Carrigan's in spawn and he will shut it down. There's still a man hidden in the smoke. Frozen trying to buy as much time as he can. And he catches Estag jumping through. This is great play from Frozen. He doesn't need to take any fight, but BMAS coming in through the window will get sniped out. Frozen dropped by the orb holding in tunnel. And somehow this is turned back into a two on two. Astralis getting fast flanked though. Chris is right behind them. He won't see Device until he's already out of the tunnel. Oh, Device hasn't moved. Chris, he can stop the bomb part as well. He's tapped down one and the second. Orb retrieved, round saved. It's a fast flank that gets Mouseports up to nine. That is the, the start back that Mouseports need right there. They don't need to let this half slip away. Yeah, and, and that's the timing of Frozen just stalling for another five to 10 seconds. It may not seem like a lot, but Astralis, because of that timing, aren't considering Chris to be behind them. Because in their eyes, they've just gotten into B. But Frozen's had that info for a while, just holding on inside of the smoke. Double AWP for Mouse, saved. Device still on his. This is the money right now for both sides. Look at Chris waiting for this flash to come in from BMAS. Oh, it's a little bit awkward. The flash goes in and while some were blind, S-Tag was not. Gonna get the better of Chris J. But luckily enough, Carrigan has helped keep things at a four on four. And no less, it was Carrigan besting device in the head to head. The man at the bottom of the board for Mao is toppling the giant on the other side. It's David versus Goliath. And we all know how that one ended. Carrigan still here with this orb. Astralis, they've just slowed right down. Pressure's not on them just yet. They've still got a minute. They're waiting to see if they can catch anyone making a move. And they're trying to retrieve Agent Glaive from behind enemy lines, waiting for him to kind of activate here. They've said the secret word. They've ushered it to him. Is in a program and now seeking his way in through the tunnels. And Astralis now looking to make a move. They Molotov the car, but Carrigan has had more than enough time to change up his position. This round, the key player here is BMAS over on short. Because if Glaive is allowed to get by, like if he beats BMAS in that fight, Carrigan is absolutely screwed. Like beyond your wildest dreams inside of this A site. Instead, he plucks one from the rankings, once again beating an AWP on the other side, and BMAS does win that all-important cat fight. And so now just two players Ooh. slowly but surely working their way into A while Miles set up for the retake, and Carrigan's in with another. Bomb plant from S-Tag, one on four. Molotov's gonna come out, but that bomb plant does come in, and he's gotta try to get away from it somehow. Big shot from Rops. And we stay at a tie game, 10 to 10. I'm not talking about that goofily dressed little character, 10-10, that Harry has loosely based his life upon. I have, man. I was a big fan. Yep. Still a big fan. I am a big fan. I love what Tabson and Co are doing with that, with that squad. Exactly. Great round for Carrigan. He's starting to find his mojo in this CT side, hitting three on the AWB. Oh, he's round. smiling as well. Yeah. Thank goodness, It's a good man. sign, isn't Fresh it? Fresh haircut. Also, Hugo, that's purple. Yeah, no, I'm now sorry. It is, now it looks it's more purple. purple. Oh, well, well, yeah. put the he, maybe he quickly changed it in between the half time. Harry, it's almost like there's more purple. than one color in the world, and it can be a shade between both, but it's fine. We'll get back into the action. <laughs> it's it's almost like pistols we all see stars. different colors. Yeah, how do you know that's not blue for you, right? It's blue for you, it's green for me. Was the dress gold or blue? Like, I don't want to dive into that. Dress. Was there a dress at all? Yeah, that too. Oh. Big questions need big answers. And there are no answers for Astralis in this. Five alive for Mouse Sports in a round that ultimately has ended in Kerrigan getting multiple op kills. This is really nice to see. Kerrigan's remembered what it's like to be in the server and actually putting up numbers. And that is a, that is a, it could be a huge turning point for Mouse. Cause like, bear in mind, they were in the lead and this isn't shade to Kerrigan, but they were, they were essentially 4v5. So I guess in a way it's a little bit of shade to Kerrigan, <laughs> you know, but like he physically didn't put a kill up in that first half of play. And, and now suddenly like he's roared to life. Like this guy was literally zero kills in round 15 now on eight. And so, you know, yeah, his scoreline's still pretty ugly, but you put that in the context of eight kills over the last six rounds of play, he's very much come alive on this AWP and at a critical moment for Mouse Sports because this game almost started to slip away from them. Ooh. Well, now Rops is donning this secondary AWP. We've seen him do this more and more on the build-up to Woxic's departure and since he left, even more so. So let's see. Rops delivers the opener onto Glaive and once again, it's Mouse taking a man advantage to start the round. That's such 
such great regression as well. He gets in there as Astralis are coming back from spawn, so they're late. They've not even cleared that position. They don't know what to expect, and they walk right into it. Even with a duck peek for Glaive, he ducks into the shot. Chris close on long. The MP7, one of the few pros who actually use this weapon. But he makes it look good. S-tag, does he check the corner? No. Five on three for Mouseboards. Astralis, they're just creeping up Catwalk. Carrigan with the orb on the cross. Single scope only. He's going to give it up. That's a smart move. Knowing that Astralis are likely going to take the site, they can set up for a five on three retake. Not offer himself up, not die before this necessary. The short plant coming through, though. Device gets it down, and Astralis have places to back up into. Ooh. In sync kills. And Dupree in a one on five. There's the start. Heads only. But Frozen responds pretty quickly. And Mouseports, they'll get a retake on the board. Lovely call for Karagun to back up there. And Mouseports still had a player waiting at B just in case things got a little bit scary with a late B lurker or a flank. Not a worry for Mouseports. They lose one on the retake, and that is it. This one's heating up. Astralis being put to the test. It's Mouseball's map pick, but a four-round streak on this CT side. Wait, this guy's... We're watching him watch us. See that? Left side? Yeah. It's right underneath the Unicorn and underneath the Burger King. Thank you, Google Maps. <laughs> Sorry, sir. This is a Waffle House. <laughs> this is a good CT side, though, for Mal's <laughs> Trying to remain yeah. sane, always difficult. Yeah, man, it is. I'm always towing that line. Man, it gets dark sometimes. You want to talk about that? I mean, it's just us here. No one can hear, so it's fine. Yeah, man. Sure. So what do you want to start? talk about? Well, I was just thinking, you know, if... Let's just say you were a player. Yeah. And you came into this game. Yeah. You had sort of a Kerrigan-esque start. How would yeah. you go about like rectifying that in your team's eyes and your own eyes? Don't say getting frags. Oh, let's get more frags. No. No, I think I think it starts with like the the acknowledgement that you that you can't do the things that you often do, right? And then that's when you have to fall into like these these safer positions that you know and love. And that's what we've been seeing from Carrigan. You know, he hasn't been like you think about what Carrigan used to be in Mouse Sports, back when he had Woxic in the squad and he wasn't the guy having to don the orb. He was very aggressive. He would often be the first guy in with the rest of the gang behind him. And and, you know, it feels like he was trying to do that a little bit, even when orping, he'd be the one going for, like, long picks and things of this sort. And it just wasn't working. Like, he was getting annihilated. And you can't, like, build confidence from the level that you always play at if you've got none. You know, like, it, it, it's fine to try it for a while, and that's what he kept doing. But I think then he kind of admitted, okay, if I just play a bit safer, I try and gimmick some of these kills. And, then, and now that he's built this confidence back up, like, to put this in perspective, zero kills at the end of the half. Well, now he's tied with, like, S-Tag on the other team he's overtaken frozen he's closing the gap on chris so he's really come alive in this second half of play and the moment you start to build that confidence back up and you remind yourself like yeah man i actually can just wreck these guys under the right circumstances that makes all the difference because it looked like carrigan was just having one of those games where you die and you go man nothing's going right for me in this game and then that gets you in like that bad mental state of of never properly navigating the challenges that are coming your way because you're just writing it off as a very unlucky uh, unlucky game but we got this buyback in for Astralis and we're going to have a B play I can assure you of that that is a promise if it goes anywhere but B you'll eat five plates of chili peppers not five plates maybe like half three plate. spoonfuls okay and please Astralis please go B do it for me <laughs> do it for me man if you're going to do it for anyone at least pick me oh, oh. frozen little quick taparoo and here goes that B play Stopped in its tracks. It's lost all the momentum. Glaive does tech one out of the server. Rops is now stuck in this smoke. If you're confused, imagine how Rops feels right about now. They're like, where the hell is he? He's dissolved. He's dissolved. Rops trying to absolve them of the B site, but Glaive gets the better of him. And now that's an AWP upgrade. There's an AK as well. This could still get out of hand for Mouse. 
Yeah, they haven't picked up the AK, and Mouse is just bursting back in with flashbangs here. Glaive, back of the site, needs a shot to connect. He's the only thing standing. Carrigan's even on a no-scope device, and Mouse Balls get that retake done. Yeah, Glaive tries to upgrade to the gun, but in doing so, throws the AK, but he doesn't throw it far enough, and so no one grabs it for Astralis. Those Tech Nines are just quickly removed, and Astralis, they get what they want. They got the B plan, and they... I was going to say they make it expensive. They get two out of five, so not the best, but... Only pistols. This is where the real rounds come through for Astralis when they got guns back in their hands. Glaive, not known to be an AWPer anyway. Did his best, but yeah, mouse boss round, as it should be in that retake. Five, oh, not five, two AWPs. That would be five something. AWPs now. Not in overtime just yet. Here Oops. we go. It's the... Oh, they're using this gap that Farley showed the other day, I think. The one through the corner of the doors trying to spot mid with it. Crossing is Rops. Gets tagged by device. They're real late to be. But as it turns out, they're right on time. Op shot from device. Starts to open up catwalk just a little bit. They're going to take more than a can opener as Molotov gets dropped. Chris is just curious. He just, oh, guys, what's going on here? There's no one here to play with. He's going to continue to hold. Now, if he pushed, he could really backstrap the side of Astralis here. 13-10. It's going to be one of those crucial rounds. Yeah, it goes both ways for Chris. If he pushes too early, he's scared of someone holding, which there's not. If he pushes too late and Astralis take A while he's flanking, well, yeah, okay, he'll have a fast cat flank, but Astralis will be considering it anyway because of mid players jumping up onto Xbox. So, you know, if Astralis do take short, it might be a good idea to even go back to long and support from there. We'll see what Chris does. He's found his timing out. He's moving through long right now. And yeah, it's a commitment on the flank. Surely Astralis are taking the A site. Chris has his timing. It's not bad at all. BMAS trapped behind the smokes and the mollies in the spawn. Chris is sneaking, but as I said, device is ready for it. And oh my, missed shot. Chris gets him back and now Mouse Sports, they're in for a chance. Yeah, it's not going to be easy though. It's a four on four. Frozen going to line up a, uh, a flashbang to help old mate Chris. Over on the catwalk, Dupree retrieving the molly from his teammate's body. Oh. That's going to delay Chris J even more. A lot of time ticked off this bomb. Whatever Mouse Sports do, it's got to be quick and it's got to be damn finessed. And well, Glaive and Dupree making quick work of the retake. There's not going to be time for Mouse, but they can take players down with the bomb, and that's not that bad of an outcome. They get away with the AWP as well that was tagged on the cross initially. That molly, <laughs> that's just great work for Dupree. Picks it up off of the body, throws it down, it bounces down the stairs, and that just stalls Mouse Sports out to a point where they can't even retake. BMAS is trying to wait for his team before he fights, but they're just so delayed by that util, and BMAS gets cleared by Glaive. Thirteen to eleven on a knife's edge. Just giving us a little 360 out through the doors. Carrigan lies in wait. Lower tunnel control taken by Astralis. And BMAS is over here on short. And Carrigan's getting boosted up as well. But he's not going to come help short side. That is left to BMAS. No pressure, man. It's only Dupree and S-Tag down in mid. Who even are those clowns? So let's see what BMAS is able to do. Molotov, but that just puts him more in the fight than ever. Oh, that's a bit messy. Runs into mid. And now they realize the extent of which they've lost this control. Carrigan trying to hold on to short. Lands the tag at least. The Molly going to keep Astralis back. They want to go through it. They don't want to play these reindeer games. Oh. And Carrigan dropped by the long flank now in for a world of hurt and mouse. Chris trying to do what he can. Both players are low on the catwalk, but sadly, that's not information that Frozen is going to be aware of. And honestly, okay. Okay, device. Not the most necessary peak. The bomb is also dropped off the Xbox. They've had to go back for it. Frozen didn't see because he was flicking around like a madman. But this buys Frozen time. And did that peak from device spur on Frozen and awaken the beast that lies within? Glaive is wrapping around long. Frozen has a temporary 1v1 and he Ooh. lands the shot. Now Glaive on the rotate and Frozen's going to have no idea. Glaive should have this round locked in. 
And it looks like he might. That nade, if that goes in, that's going to give up the aim of the game for Glaive. Frozen. This should have never been around, but Device invited him with that peek. And now he sees the arm. Glaive's oh been my. dropped and Frozen has done it. 14 on the board for Maus. Wow. They wrote it off too soon and Frozen shows them. Well, you have to pay him his respect. 14 on the board as Maus win that one out in a 1v3. That is unreal for Frozen on a round, on a game that he's struggling individually, but comes out of four kills here and somehow gets that retake done. He missed the timing to the bomb. I thought that would have been his chance, the bomb getting picked up in middle. Magic, uh, Glaive rather even shot at him from long corner, and that's why Frozen thought that he was long all that time, but the realization kicks in. He sees nothing in the pit. He sees the cat plant, and he works it right out. Great work for Frozen. That's just unreal. I, I want to talk about a little bit of a bait Astralis did up on Cat before that happened, before it fell out of control. Device, he smokes that molly on Cat, and, and that's actually sick because despite Astralis not like rushing through it, and you know, usually you smoke a molly when you're you're planning a hit and a molly comes in and the timing isn't good and you just have to go. That wasn't it. He smokes the molly. Carrigan at long is staring at Cat, looking for a player to rush through, and that gives time for a lurker to come out long. I think it might have been Glaive, uh, come out through the long doors and shoot Carrigan in the back with his attack diverted. That was a nice little bait for Astralis, but it fails in comparison, or pales in comparison to the clutch we see from Frozen, keeping Mouse Sports up in the lead, 14 to 11. That's a kicker for Astralis. It's going to cost them. Device wants revenge. Back up the cat with the orb. His teammates out in middle. Smoke down in the spawn. Double B setup. Robs is here with the orb as well. He has the wide swing covered. They could walk up close, but Dupree goes in and Rops takes him out of the round immediately. Good start for Mouse Sports, but there's many more where that came from. Glaive running down B. Frozen's got to watch two angles at once. The tunnel's still with Magis there. The smoke comes in. They don't respect it, and Glaive gets traded. Frozen falls off the boxes and will only find two. Good hold on the B bomb site, but Device gets out alive, and Magis can plant. It looks like they just want to hunt down the one man wow. in the site, and I love that for Maus. They knew Device was in middle, so now he's got a clutch, and he can't get past BMAS. Maus, they arrive at map point 15 to 11, and all of this, this gradual spiral out of control coming off the back of that Frozen clutch into another round where Frozen puts up a double, and it just feels like these players that were quiet are now coming alive, and that's something that Astralis were not ready for. Yeah, I, I I love that from BMAS as well, right? As you said, he realizes his device is in middle and he makes the great call. It, you know, it's easy for a player facing one of the best teams in the world to get nervous there and not do that, but he has full confidence in his ability. Rops fighting device down middle. It's a double trade on long. Rops taking the first kill on device is quite the storyline. Caravan's got another orb, but he gets blown through the smoke and Dupree with a nade and a shot to the face has kept Astralis in this round. They don't want to give it up just yet. Over time, as a potential, four rounds from it. Mouse Sports, a four on two, not in their favor. Rops re-aggresses at the car, posts up once again, hoping they don't realize his barrel might stick out if he looks at the catwalk, but Frozen's covering from middle on a timing. He's got a lot to watch and not a lot of uh, ability to watch it. Smoking B, just going to gamble it. Astralis just wait. It's a cool idea of Rops' reposition, right? He goes to where Carrigan got wrecked in the hope that now they just don't account for him. Yeah, but not having any vision there, you would think... Yeah, well, no, well, now, oh. now they are going to check it, right? Because they gave up this long angle. As you're saying, Trace, Rops almost burns to death in the Molotov. Ow. Yeah, it's a bit of a rough one. Rops tries to outsmart them, but it's hard to outsmart the big brains on Astralis. Looking for a little gap over this smoke, but that, no, Ooh. he's still alive. Here's the run boost. Rops plugs Dupree out of thin air. And that's the bomb dropped out in the open. Frozen oh, no. in with another. Oh, Surely no. it can't be another huge advantage for Astralis given away. Rops still alive, still kicking down in CT at 12 points of health. Both S-Tag and Magisk grouped together inside of the site. And Mao, surely they're going to give this a go, right? They've won harder rounds than this by all accounts. It's the fact that now they're split up. They have to try and take this one, and they're relying on Frozen massively to find success, and he will. Magis removed. S-Tag, one of the newer faces on Astralis, left to try and keep this on Dust 2. S-Tag, first looking for Rops and finds him. Now just Frozen left, and down underneath he sneaks, and S-Tag strikes from the back.
It's Astralis winning out the 1v2, but a 1v2 that maybe never needed to arrive. 12 on the board for the Danes, but still money for Maus to make use of. Oh my, this game is everything we wanted and more. I never thought it would be this competitive. What a great try from Rops and Frozen. What, a, what an incredible attempt. The cross shot on Dupree jumping, being flung over by Astralis. A quick tap for Frozen onto Magis. It's not enough though. And a sigh of relief, a breath of fresh air for Astralis as they claw back this game, as they hold on yet another round. Double Orb. Run it back for Mouse Sports. Rops picked Device out of middle in the last round. These last couple of, you know, like three or four rounds, Device has slowed down for sure. And we've not really seen too much pressure on B. Rops has been free in that side of the map. Do we get that head to head again? Does Rops have the confidence to fight mid, knowing that the Orb is likely on the other side, or do Mouse Sports wait patiently once more? Yeah, would love to hear what the comms are said instead of this timeout from Mouse Sports. Because you don't want to let Astralis get back in the game. We know they can do it. Miz just jumps out long backwards, even. Dodges a flash, pulls a shot from Kerrigan. He's not there alone. They're going to try to hawk down Kerrigan. And what that's oh going to do my. is nothing. Chris J with a spray. Eventually, Chris J falls to S Tag, who was completely flashed. Three versus three. Astralis looking to stay alive on Dust 2. Yeah, great flashbangs from BMAS to set that all up. It goes a bit topsy-turvy, but still Mouse Sports, they've got control, they've taken B. Device is grabbing the bomb. BMAS is alone for the time being on that A site. Already catching Glaive, crossing to the car. There's one more where that came from, but S-Tag doesn't want to swing just yet. He's going to sneak up through the smokes. Rops not to know. BMAS spots him, and deep along his device. BMAS backs up, and he can stay alive here, but swings for the fight, and S-Tag takes him. Rops in the fade, and he's got the shot. Rops V, de v device, as now Frozen comes up on the catwalk. The two on four that couldn't be done in the round prior is now a two on one and Device has got to do it all. Yeah, the flash is good. Miss shot. Rops misses as well. So Device is given a second chance and he knows he's not owed many more of those. On to the AK now. Device topping the charts in a big way for Astralis and trying to keep them on this map just a little bit longer, but surviving this journey, surviving this cross is not going to be easy with Frozen holding from Cat and Rops down in CT. The moment this flash goes out, they know device is here. Oh. He gets Ooh. by, but narrowly so, 8 HP, but oh. there's the kill on a Frozen, and maybe device is in with a chance, taps the bomb, but Rops holds his ground, and Mouse Sports, they take their map pick off Dust2. 